So I'm done drawing myself in my standing pose where you can sort of see what my self as the superhero character would look like. What I'm going to do now is do an action pose where it shows my abilities that I would actually have. So I'm gone back here just so you guys can see my computer. I've gone back here to the page that has some of those reference images that I can look at. So you might want to pause this video or watch it but then go back to the page that has some of those images you guys can look at and that'll sort of help you with this part of the assignment. So I'm looking at one where it seems like I would be up in the air sort of jumping almost flying at somebody so maybe I'm like Superman I have super strength and I can fly. So my head is this way or the head of the person I'm sketching is this way later I'll make it look like me can't really see their neck so I'm gonna leave that out but I can see some of their backbone to where they're curved they're sort of jumping up and their neck is gone because of the sort of tilted forward look so if I put on these crosshair lines this will help it seem like I'm sort of tilted forward looking down so then one shoulder is leaning this way one shoulder is up over this way um, the torso is like this everything else because that person is sort of leaning over coming at us a little bit it's going to make things look a little bit shorter like I can see this much of the arm here but then I see just a little bit of the forearm and then their fist is balled up here because it's overlapping the rest of their arm the same thing is happening here I can see a little bit of the shoulder and the arm past it but then I see a little bit of their forearm but then again I see the shape of their fist held up in the air there. I'm going to put those lines to indicate where their fingers are. So I'm going to zoom in on this part of the sketch since this is what we're focused on now and you guys will be able to see those lines better. So one leg is kind of up and bent. The other leg is down and back behind us here. They're up in the air, so the toes are pointed. Same thing over here. So now I'm going to do the whole adding meat to the bones thing. So I'm actually drawing the contours of what my head would look like tilted in this position. So the eyebrows are going to be a little lower than they have been. Shape of the eyes here. The nose is still on this line. Faces we know how to do, so I'm going to come back to this later. My head should seem a little shorter because of the way it's tilted, so I'm going to bring that down below that sketch line. But then here, this is where it gets tricky. So I'm glad I have these sketches to kind of reference. So at this point, I can't see more of the arm, so I'm not going to draw what I can't see. I can see my hand here in the reference image that I'm looking at on the computer. So if I draw that, it'll sort of make sense later. As long as I put everything in the right place, it'll make sense later. My arm doesn't, isn't actually shorter, it's just you can't see the whole thing. I got to remember it's got to look like the uniform I designed myself. So then, thumb is overlapping, the wavy line for the knuckles, the lines for the contours of the finger, so as long as my sketch looks right, then the rest of my drawing will look correct. So this looks like I'm actually up in the air moving around. Maybe I'm flying, maybe I'm getting ready to land on someone and attack a bad guy or something. Here, 
here, you can actually see the length of the foot because of the direction it's pointing in. So then I would finish my other leg. So you guys will keep working. You probably picked a different pose than me. So you're working on yours and I'll be working on mine. 